Virgos. So this is for Virgos who are dealing with another Virgo for the month of September 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get a Virgo's coming with the two of wands, the seven of swords, and the hangman. Somebody here is definitely doing something behind your back, and they're giving to you less than you absolutely deserve. Six of pentacles, a hermit card, and the nine of cups. That's Virgo energy, Virgo on Virgo. They're only doing what it is that they want to do with the nine of cups. They're making themselves feel happy. They're going out. They're doing their thing. They're watching. They're... <laughs> They're pretty much looking to see how much are you willing to put up with before this person continues to keep sliding out and into your life with the Seven of Swords. They keep doing what they want to do with the Seven of Swords and you keep allowing them to do it. You're like, you're allowing them to give you less than what you, did, like the bare minimum. They're, you're like, you're allowing them to give you the bare minimum, but you still continuously fight for this relationship. I don't understand why. It's the Two of Wands. Your intuition is telling you that maybe if you should leave, but you do obviously like this person or maybe like when you guys smash or whatever, you think that that's enough. But just because you guys are smashing doesn't mean you guys are in a relationship. Let's just make all that shit clear, Virgos. Just because you guys might be smashing doesn't mean you guys are in a relationship with this Virgo. All right? <laughs> like, let's just be fucking clear. You're... What's happened in this is, is that you slept with this person and you caught feelings for them. You are the type of person that gets emotionally attached to people when the moment you sleep with them. That's what happened. And now you think that this, you guys are going to end up in a full out relationship with each other. And the answer right now is a fucking no. <sighs> uh, sorry, I know that must have hurt someone's feelings, but you better... There's no other way to say it. <laughs> there's n there's no other way to say it to it, the truth hurts sometimes so you guys are not really communicating or anything like that but i do see that there's going to be communication coming in just now with the page of cups to this page of swords to the ten of cups some of you guys might go and hang out with each other later on after a long period of time of you guys not seeing each other connecting to each other whatever the fuck what obviously you guys are going to reunite with this person with the four of wands the world card the three the six of wands and the four of pentacles in reverse, sorry, wrong spread. Uh, that goes there and there, and then these ones go here. So you guys are going to reunite with each other with the four of wands. Somebody here thinks that you guys are meant to be getting married, but they're saying it's, not, it's actually not. So there's a lot of opposition around you guys, especially on this person's end. They're still dealing with somebody from their past, and there's just a lot of shit happening. So there's a lot of opposition. There's a lot of delays happening in this situation. With the Ten of Pentacles and the World Card and the Four of Wands, you guys are going to come together, obviously, but it's like not making anybody happy at this point. Five of Pentacles, someone's not doing all that great. They're tired. They're exhausted. They're sad. They're depressed. They're unhappy. They're trying to figure out what's going on. You know, this person might be all about their money, but they are definitely stressed out. They might have somebody beside them with the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands energy there, too. And uh, it is what it is. And then I see that maybe this King of Wands does do magic. And you guys might be very well aware of it, which is going to make you and this Virgo cause a lot of fighting between the two of you guys. But there is a Bruja here with the Queen of Wands. She is a Bruja. I don't think she's a priestess at all. I see that she is just, in fact, a witch, so meaning that she does spells. Uh, to either ruin someone's life or to make it better. <laughs> but she does do spell work and is definitely a bruja from what I'm seeing. She might be working with Santita type of magic. But in the end, I don't think that this other Virgo knows that this one here does spell work. And they need to be very careful because they might get themselves in a position where they might end up being pregnant by this person later on in the future. And they might come to the realization that if they end up getting pregnant by this person, <sighs> this person is not going to want to be with them. Because this King of Pentacles, he's already got enough shit going on in his life. He doesn't have time for more responsibilities, especially when he doesn't even have time for this other Virgo who continues to continuously is giving them the bare minimum. If they're giving you the... I'm very sorry, Virgos. It is what it is. You know what I mean? It, it's going to hurt you guys' feelings. And I don't know how else to tell you guys this without it hurting anybody else's feelings. It's like, you know, this person is not giving you guys the time of day. Everybody has a number. If somebody is treating you like a number five, yo, uh, understand that you are number five on their list. If somebody wants to wake up in the morning and send you a good morning text message, they will fucking do it. If they want to send you a good night and a kiss and they want to check you, they will do that too. 
People will treat you on how they choose to prioritize you. Everybody has a number out here. And somebody here is about to get their feelings really hurt. And if you end up getting pregnant by this person, you're going to lose your fucking mind. You're going to become the queen of swords in reverse. You're going to lose your shit. Now you got more problems on your back because one, the man that you wanted to be with, you're sitting there doing love spells on them. And they're not even really fully down for this relationship because they don't even have time for a relationship. And then they're still healing at the exact same time. And it's like you're forcing them to love you. You're forcing them to like you you're forcing them to do something and then you accidentally get pregnant now you become pregnant and now you're pissed off and you're mad because they're not going to be there for you or the baby but they told you they told you the moment somebody tells you oh i'm not ready for a baby yo throw that rubber on if somebody tells you they're not ready to be in a relationship then you're either going to cut that person off and you're going to go on with your life but whether you're sitting here doing love spells on somebody when they're telling you that they're not ready for something you guys both need to squash it and move on with your life. It is what it is. Sun card. Move on with your life. Go find peace. Go find happiness. Do what you need to do. And then I see here that there could have been another Virgo on a Virgo. <sighs> this could be someone's karma, too, for what you may have done to another Virgo or to done to another person. Somebody here deceived somebody who's very loving and somebody came up against a high priestess. That's why I'm saying there's a bruja here. There's a bruja who came up against a priestess, and they were wrong for doing that. This priestess, she, this empress, this goddess, this god, they're going to be good no matter what. But whatever's coming in for the bruja, I don't think it's going to be all that great. You guys, Virgos, are going to have to find or figure it out. Uh, you guys are going to end up walking away from the situation and putting an end to it. Seven of Wands. You guys look like you still want to fight for this connection, but it's like, what are you guys fighting for? This person's still acting like a fool. I've never seen some weird shit before. Maybe this person is younger than you. You know, sometimes people who are younger, they get, they have more attachment. They, it's difficult for them to release you and let you go because they don't, they don't carry the energy of, they don't carry, they, they've never been through so, they have, they never been through enough life experiences to understand detachment. And even if they say, oh yeah, they're healed, they're healed. No, they're not healed. No, they're not. No, they're not. Healing takes forever. Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, if you're deciding to go to some sort of priest or priestess to do magic to get your Virgo back, saying bad idea, it's going to come hitting you right back. Tower card, don't do it. Don't fucking do it. You're going to lose your man. You're going to lose them with the Three of Swords. You lose them. All that energy now is going to be hit under justice. And it's saying for what you have did to somebody who was good to you in the past, Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Somebody here hurt somebody that they should never have hurt and karma is going to take effect, justice card, and it is what it is and you end up losing in the end. You guys got the seven of pentacles, <sighs> the priestess, the eight of pentacles, the moon card. You guys, somebody did something fucked up, all right? But in the end, the Virgo is going to come back to this Virgo during Mercury retrograde because somebody here continuously does love spells on somebody. And the more love spells that they do, the more that they're going to keep coming back. But it's like you're forcing their hand. You're forcing their hand. Judgment's going to call in, be called in on the situation. Archangel Michael and Judgment and Divination are all on this situation right now. They don't like that somebody here is forcing someone's hand. When the universe doesn't approve of two people being in a relationship together, Divine, Judgment, and Archangels are all going to step in on it. We showed you what was going on. Three of Cups. We showed you that this person was toxic. We showed you that this person is going out, hanging out, doing things. Maybe going down by the beach, water, what water, whatever. It's like move on with your life. You gotta have to make a move and move on with your life. Uh, Emperor card, six of swords, and the four of cups. You guys are gonna keep going back and forth, back and forth for the longest while, all the way up between now, all the way until December, until you guys realize that you know what, this is not the relationship for you. If you have to force someone's hand through spell work, through magic through whatever and you're not getting what it is that you want that just simply means that the universe does not approve of your spell work or your magic and that's why you will not end up with this person that you are wanting to be with four of cups is right there how many times are you continuously doing these jar spells and love spells on somebody how many times are you having to deal with it and do it until you come to the realization that your love spells are not working on this virgo thanks cuties bye